These medications work by interfering with how your brain communicates with your thyroid gland. If your brain can't communicate with your thyroid gland, it doesn't matter that that thyroid gland could function otherwise. In this situation, it will never get the message to produce thyroid hormones. And there are many medications which can make this issue even worse. The first on this list are steroids. These are medications that are often given to patients who have high levels of inflammation in their body. These steroids have a suppressive effect on TSH TSH in the pituitary gland, and this suppressive effect gets worse the longer you take them. Next on the list are dopamine agonists. These medications are used to treat Parkinson's disease and they're not commonly prescribed, but I did want to include them here for completeness. And finally, we have one of the most commonly prescribed medications out there, and that's metformin. This medication is commonly prescribed to treat diabetes and insulin resistance. What's really interesting about metformin is that it was once thought to have a negative effect on the TSH. But more recent research suggests that perhaps metformin has a positive effect on the TSH, not a negative one. In other words, taking metformin may actually improve thyroid function. 